every fucking time. I was planning to leave, go into the Pokemon Center, freaking whatever. Hello, it is I, the one and only Dragons and Rubies, back from that as it were, bringing you some more Pokemon Shining Pearl content for you guys. In the last episode, we delivered a package to Cynthia's grandmother, came over, kept Mantina's ass, was not a challenge, I am built smart. Oh my god, and before we proceed further into this dialogue with Cynthia, please be sure to leave a like and oh yeah, and subscribe if you have not already for more Pokemon Shining Pearl and other types of content in the late to near future. But without further ado, let's begin. I'm so glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about what took place in Celestic, Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did in by the ruins. But that seemed galactic. I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics, you know, talking about how they're going to make a new universe and all. In that weird way they dress too, I thought they were harmless. It appears as if there are a lot more trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon, that's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Kanalav. Kan oh, K Kanalav, like a Canal Av? Nalav? City? Is that, is that how, how it's pronounced? They have some ancient books that you might find interesting. It may also be of help to completion your Pokedex. I think you ought to go there. Okay, bye-bye for now. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go real, and then we're probably going to... Damn Golem. Like, Golem can't, like, accelerate towards me, but he can, like, keep up with me. Once Golem starts actually rolling. Alright, so let's swap out to good old Smush. I'm using Smush for the next gym. Uh, yeah, we'll keep you out. Sorry, I saw, I saw some funky stuff going on there. But we now we have to yeah we have to go there. So let's go to Juba Life City. What are you doing here? Oh Well, that's no up to barrel <laughs> That's cool The surf soundtrack God This sounds beautiful. Oh repels <laughs> I was about to vibe out, and I was like, oh, right, those things. We're gonna have to end real quick, though. We need a rare candy. Back to the freaking comfy ass OST. Oh my god, they get water effects so right in this game. God, I love that. All right. Do 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 do. Man of Sea who also loves Pokemon. <gasps> uh, we should be fine. I think we just headbutt and just proceed on with our day. Gyarados. Let's get impact that. Yeah, let's get get impact that. Oh boy, let's hope we can get impact and kill. Slam your body into it. It's not gonna kill. Just gonna lower it on our defense, get an extra attack in. But we should be able to kill it next turn if this doesn't kill. Okay. Alright, we live in. I just gotta hope we don't miss. You get impact. There we go. Now it's got. Ah, oh, maybe we should use Meatball this gem. We will use Smoosh like outside of the gym, but then once we start getting in more into it, we'll use a uh, meatball. Ooh, let's heal up. I know I could just go into the town, but I think there might be a rival battle in there. We aren't ready for that yet. We're off to the rhythm of battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, the fact that I was immediately ran into Cynthia at the beginning of this episode also means I still have not planted those leper berries. You know, I think we're gonna put the lipper berries here. Because this is a, a more memorable spot. Recognizable spot, I should say. For me to remember. That person has fucking intimidate, Jesus Christ.
Yeah, all right, level 37, that's great. Yeah, guitar's weeping, boo-hoo. Uh, is there any items here? Actually, can't you catch, um, chaff out here or something? What do you have to say? Oh, okay, yeah, you're up on the other side. Thank you for the stickers! I appreciate you! I'm glad I can tell you about your girlfriend. What are you doing here? <laughs> Ruiz, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. Wonder who I am. Aren't you Don's father or something? Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. Don't you fucking forget it. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokédex, you see. So I chose this spot and how she passed through. Please, may I have your Pokédex for a moment? Let's see. Was I supposed to put the software in here? Kunk, kunk, kunk. Hmm. It looks like your Pokédex doesn't need upgrading. It lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokémon. Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll let you carry on with your project for the Professor. Also, may I keep your eye on Team Galactic? The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilee Life City, you know, ages ago. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'll be on my LA now. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just Golem Silverine's a fucking me good old meatball. Silverine's a freaking smile to my face when I see him rolling. Jesus Christ. Would you be such a rolling in place? Meatball, you are a treat. Oh, I love you. Uh let's actually let's do because we have some downtime. Let's actually go into these houses and just check around. For a second, I think I was recording. That was scary. Oh, who do I say it was again? Oh, oh, move the leader. Okay. I mean, I don't, I really don't need you. You kind of, not gonna lie, lost your need when HMs don't stay on your Pokemon forever. You're honestly there just for the novelty's sake. Well, trainer, here's some uh, mixed with cargo from another country. I can't use them, so I think you should take them. Room 48. Ooh, wait a second. What is this? Earth power? You both have their own abilities with- oh, skill swap, okay. You have anything else for me? Okay. Good for you. I th Wait, why is the Galactic on the news? Oh. Motherfucker! Wait! I mean, yeah, that's great, but there was the Galactic symbol on the- I'm seeing things. Hey, that just has to be what it is. I'm seeing things. Also, I just realized I didn't plant those fucking berries outside. Oh well, I'll get to it later. Is this still... Harbor in the text is too faded to read. At least shot appears impossible to open. Do, 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 do. Wonderful. That's what I thought. How you doing, Nakaru? <laughs> Oops, oh hey, Ruiz. You're gonna challenge the gym leader up ahead, eh? I want you to check and see if you're ready for the challenge. I thought someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Let's go! Alright. This is Daravia. Alright. I think Smush can handle the majority of your party. Roughly. Well, not when you fucking do that, you piece of who? Interested in the other Pokemon sent Smoosh, you need to you need to calm yourself down. Are you in heat? Please don't be in heat. Uh good old quick claw. You have 82 health. That is quite something. Uh yeah, let's just freaking switch. Um Let's go with the Bessie actually. I was thinking letting Meatball have some time, but I'm not going to be using Meatball in this gym, so. Which I don't think we can even do the gym right now, because we still got the uh, Iron Island, I think, to do. Oh, wow. Oh, invasiveness. Okay, so I thought that was freaking agility or something. Yeah. Please don't miss. Oh, two double teams. This is going to be annoying. Bessie, don't let me down. Bessie, you're letting me down. Bessie, don't let three double teams. Bessie, you can hit the ain't the power right. You need to land it once. We got this. Thank you. Whew. Three double teams. And where did that lead you? Lie knocked out on the floor. How dare you try to cheese me, AI. 
Uh, Rosalia, this could hurt. Mm, but if we can take a hit, we can Ice Beam. Mm, watch them. <laughs> there goes my blood. <clears throat> All right. I, oh. All right. All right, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Go, Crow. I mean, to be fair, this time's for effective, but it's like shit that <laughs> I thought I was dead. Oh, all right. Uh, we just pluck. It's fine, croaking to handle the rest of this. Inferno, we just oh, can we cross poison this? I think we can cross poison it, right? Yeah, it's a fight. Oh, we can just block it. It is a fighting type. Ba -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, weasel. This we could just cross poison. Yep. And you're gone. Huh. Oh, one more Pokemon? Got to tell the spot playing time before? Yeah, sure, yeah, buddy. Heracross. What you're saying is, I can just pluck you. I'm more of a pincer guy myself. Not gonna lie. Especially with the release of Mega Pincer, you know. Heracross just doesn't cut. Heracross is still a cool Pokemon, don't get me wrong. But it's just like... I was like, pincer more. Synthesis. Nope, we keep it old moves. What just happened? Are you telling me I lost? Yep, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's going to be take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed it right, it's going to be me. Anyways, you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Not even get to it. Oh, I guess we can just challenge the gym leader right now. That should be fine. Uh, let's go heal up though. Uh, congratulations, Meatball. You get to be you, so we're gonna swap you out for a smush. And we're also gonna put you there, Frank. Actually, so I check out some of the other places. Do, 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 do. Oh. Nothing here. Alright. Yeah, it's there. You see that, right? Oh my god, report new to open a green shard. Yeah, yeah, great. Thanks, th thanks. For, you know, freaking stalking me. How you doing? I'm gonna be a sailor just like your daddy. Real man, man, no one been scared. The leader's cool, yeah? Where's so much energy? I wish you a little bit quieter. Yeah, don't we all? Kids. Kids can be loud. Everybody instinct tells me there's a secret path somewhere in this city, and there's treasure beyond that path. That's a cruel and unusual punishment. Can I surf from here? U turn. Is there a Pokemon that might want to learn that? I think Crow could learn it. I know. What would bug coverage give us? Yes. Yeah, you're, you're going to be going behind a bit there. But, you know, thanks, kid. I got a freaking U-turn out of that. Can I talk to him about it? Yeah, th here's the thing you get. Three Sky Stickers, okay. I mean, that's good. We're going to be, you know, using decorations at some point. Or the stickers at some point. Alright. Oh, really? There's a freaking... Guy just right there, you know, fighting guy. 
Let's hope people can handle him. Unburdened spirit reveals thyself. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Keep talking. What do you have, Black Belt Man? Steelix? Alright. Alright. That's what I don't think a bulldoze can handle. To be fair, I guess using Meatball here is a double edged sword. Because these Pokemon can hurt him. We just gotta hope that we're strong enough to tank it out, which we should be. This is like it's more a battle of like our uh, attrition than like. I don't know what I'm trying to go with this analogy here. Also, use Bulldoze. Okay, yeah, but you know, we're a freaking fucking Golem who has stupidly high defense. To be fair, like Rock Tips as a concept is good, it's just they're often paired with freaking Ice. Which just has very bad weaknesses. So it's like they can just die from being breathed on. But like as a physical wall, they're like fucking fantastic. But it's like, why would you use a rock type when you could use a steel type? Like for example, I was thinking about instead of using freaking golem, instead of in, instead of using golem using a steelix. But I don't even want to use it. Okay, but I just opted for the golem because. I just felt like using go a golem more than Celix at the time. It was like a thought that passed my mind and I was like, hmm, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. And it was just really because I was like, Steel Tip is really fucking good. Like even after the changes it had in 6th gen, the sort of like nerf his defensive capabilities, Steel Tips are still just naturally just bulky. It's just all of Steel Tips were naturally bulky and had freaking Oh, we can heavy slam. Oh, wait. Well, I, I forget. Does weight take the difference in weight, or is it just the natural weight? I can't quite remember. I probably should have used Bulldoze just so that we could have kept the kept face. But where was I going? Yeah, but, but like freaking still types being. I'm like, I'm trying to find good, good shit, Meatball. Like, find my train of thought again. Yeah, we should just use Bulldoze. Yeah, Steel Tips are good defensively. Because a lot of Steel Tips have high defense. Not all of them, there are offensive Steel Types. This Steel Type is also, again, a very freaking powerful type, and especially when Fairy was introduced, because it's like, either being Poison and Fairy. Steel type just became a bit more better offensively when Fairy was introduced, and Poison you know, again also came into freaking good graces with the change. Um, I've completely lost my train of thought. Me thinking about freaking Heavy Slam, like I I get scattered brain very easily when I start talking about something that I can change to a different topic, but when I realized I've changed the topic without finishing the last one, it kind of bothers me, so I try to go back to that topic. But it's like, it was something that I was just speaking that got the top tip of my tongue sp talking about, without really thinking necessarily too hard about it. So when I try to think back at it, I'm like, what was I thinking when I was <laughs> saying that? I was just kind of talking. <laughs> Knock down, we got this. Curse. We did have that on our Terra at one point. Which, yeah, lowers down speed and increases attack and defense, right? Attack rows and defense rows, yeah. But now because of that, I think you're going to live this next bulldoze. Fuck, I was right. And whatever you're about to use is going to hurt a bit. Ice Fang. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we, again, it was, it's probably going to hurt, but it wouldn't hurt that much. This is physical. And move to sing lullaby? Yeah, I, I, I honestly wouldn't even see what your first text was. Uh, no, we still fine. I don't even know I'm going the right way. I just picked the direction and went. Uh, let's go up. Hmm. Let's go this way. Let's not go this way. 
Ayo, how you doing? Gerardo. Hmm. It's an interesting name. Very different than you know, like the Daniels and the Rufuses of the world. Uh, but those are just more effective. Last time I check. Yeah. Actually, how much PP do we have in Bulldoze? We gotta keep an eye on that. Oh, we're fine. We'll have plenty for the freaking gym battle. I also think this is the least interesting looking background for gym. Not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not really digging the like. I understand why why it looks like that. It does fit the aesthetic, but it's just. Compared to some of the more visually appealing backgrounds and the other gyms we face, this is just the least least interesting one we've ran into so far. We have two more gyms to go through after this one, so you know, it could always change, but... I still fuck with it. It's just... I don't think it's as good as the other backgrounds. Now don't curse. Please don't curse. Ice Fang. Alright, how much damage is doing? Okay, yeah, no, we eat that. Honestly, I don't think, I think part of the reason why I still went with the Golem, I, I think if I remember, because I was looking at base stats, Felix's base attack stat is kind of, like, not good. It's alright. Felix is meant to be somewhat more, like, tanky. We win. We just fucking win. This is the I win button, alright? Get rid of fucking bulldoze. Base 60? Who needs that? We have base 100, alright? God, we stay eaten. But yeah. Because Celix really wasn't that good offensively until the Mega, which boosted its attacks that a bit. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. I hope I'm still going the right way. But focus on one type, you can see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. I mean, yeah. To be fair, you can make viable, like, monotype teams. You just need to actually have, you know, some thought process behind it. Also, it's a motherfucking Azumarill. You got them Ace Trainers messing shit up in here. Now, can I please ask you to not kill Meatball? We're faster than you anyway. Okay, we're just going to Earthquake. Woo! Yeah, your focus was... You, you had one Pokemon. Calm down, alright? This is still just going down. I don't know what that one's going to do. Is this the one? Yep. Alright. Uh, we can go in with that much health. That's fine. Hmm. <clears throat> Ah, I see that the Orberg gym badge. I see, I see you defeated my son. But that's no surprise. He still has much to learn in my place. Wait, still has much to learn in place of my son, Rorik. I, Brian, or Byron, will accept your challenge. All right. I fuck with the gym leader's design. I think it does look good. It's just this gym, this, this background really ain't it. Oh, you're gonna have like levitate or some shit, aren't you? I mean, I guess we could try to see if you're heat proof. But I feel like you're gonna have levitate. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. Can we smack down you? Motherfucker. Or does SmackDown only work on flying types? I mean, it's fine. Trick room. That's mad unfortunate. Sandstorm's not that, you know, bothersome. So it's Confuse Ray, Trick Room, Sandstorm. 
I see you, Byron, freaking, you know, using strategy to try to beat me. It's admirable. Very admirable, but like, could you like not have? You know, just, you know, not do that. Not fucking confuse me. Flash cannon, how much is it gonna hurt? Okay, we eat in. Uh, we don't need that. I'll probably even need a switch. Mm. Please break through. Alright. Not very effective. Fell straight down. Good. Now we can use Earthquake. Oh god, we are taking these hits. Not out of confusion, that's good. Alright. What's your next Pokemon? Matches okay, that is perfect. Steelix? Uh I feel like we can take a hit from a Steelix, so we're gonna use uh the Moo Moo Milk. Uh Meatball. Here, meatball, drink some milk. You need it for your tough bones. <sighs> oh. I see. I see you are also a fan of the earthquake. Please kill. Oh no. Meatball, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's not a Nuzlocke, but it's still unfortunate. Byron, I'll have you know. The only other gym leader that has given me trouble thus far has been your son. So congratulations. You are the second gym leader that has given me trouble. Uh, I could bring out Smush, but I'm, I'm just not going to fuck around and bring out Frank. Definitely has been a while since we've seen Frank. I was like, I was zoomed out a bit because we're using like a bigger Pokemon. It was like Frank compared to freaking Meatball. There we go. There's Earth Power. Forget a move. Let's go. Oh my god, base 90, special ground attack, get rid of ancient power, we live in, we eat in. Movesets are being finished, it's great. Okay, the last one, can you make your stand? Bastiodon, alright. Frank is awaiting my directions. Let's just continue earthquake, there's no reason not to. So we're still like on level. It's 39, we'll just hit, hit some 40s. Hmm. He got the sturdy off. Is that a citrus berry? Yeah. Iron defense, that's not going to save you from the second earthquake incoming, you know? I mean, you're probably going to heal. That'll probably save you. Yeah, not done yet. No giving up. It's fine, you know? Kind of spooked me a bit, you know, freaking knocking out Meatball with Earthquake and Steelix, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Now we're done here, and I can continue on my journey. Who wants to learn to move Haze? Yeah, let's not do that. My sturdy Pokemon were defeated. Yeah, give me my 9k. So I can take down my prize Pokemon team recognition of the power. Give me the mind badge. Thank you very much. Mind badge from Byron. Enables you to use him move strength when you poke at any time. You now have six gym badges. He's Pokemon up level 70. Yep, from trade stickers that Brian uses. Perfect. Game 91, what is this? Iron Defense? Flash Cannon, alright. I got my old slower on the special defense, alright. 
Good going. You're even tough enough to take a shot and become the Pokemon champion. Of course, I'm tougher, so that's not actually going to happen. Anyways, Reese, come with me to the library. I was going to think about into the episode, but I knew this was going to happen, so let's just continue on. I believe they're probably upstairs. Like, all the way upstairs. Hey, Ruby's over here this way. Okay, Grams, I brought Ruby's like you asked. And now I'm out of here. Hmm. Oh, okay. I, I get it. I get it. Hmm. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. There are even some Pokemon that used to evolve in the past, but now don't. Check out Pokemon Legends Arceus in January, which I'm actually really excited for as well. I'm really looking forward to that game. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how, to process, how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each of you... Excuse me. ...on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. Wait. You, you you didn't? And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give them one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me. It'll be my uh it will help my Pokedex too. Please, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I admit all of you go regardless. Now then, three legs. Fortunate fortuitously. There are three of you. You should split the investigation of the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Yep, will do. Victoria, you go to Lake Aquity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. Though there was harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. Yep, the hotness. <clears throat> God, it's hard to switch between that voice and the voice I was doing to the rival. Who lives you, Ruiz? With Lake Valor. It's the lake between Villasone and Pastoria. It's memory, sir. What was that? Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. I don't know. We saw along, but of the aftershocks? I wonder if they have uh, changed dialogue after that shock. If they all mention it. Oh, surviving disaster. <laughs> okay, that, that does sound a bit like a... um. Changed one. I'm all agitated now. Okay. Are these the same or are these different? I don't know. They sound like they could be a part of the situation, but I didn't talk to them before. My fault. Oh, that tremor wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. They're saying a huge explosion that happened at Lake Valor. Shit. I was in charge of that place. Like that. Krabs, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm, that Akaru can't sit still. The reason we're well, like Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, you I can't stress enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, Louise, won't you? Yep. I will. 
However, we are going to end off today's episode here. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already for more Pokemon Shining Pearl and other tips of content in the late to near future. Without further ado, I am Dragons and Ruiz. This is Pokemon Shining Pearl. <gasps> Goodbye.